So we'll put an order on for the customer we were just looking at. And we get a warning from Standard now that they're over their credit limit. credit limit again or maybe because their credit limit could change throughout the order because um, if they were in the limit, limit for the first line and then the second line they put an order uh, a lot an item on that takes them over it's going to tell them at that point right, in okay. time as, as what point they've, they've gone over their limit and there could be multiple orders coming in at the same time so correct so the users could be putting orders on correct yeah so if i go and release that the system it gives me a warning to say that they're credit held. If I OK that, you'll see the status has changed now. So originally that was open, and it will tell you the reason underneath as to why they're on credit held. So if status is credit held, we have a credit held reason of um, overdue credit limit. Okay, so if I come out of of that, so I can't do anything with that order. I can't go and ship it. I can't go and post any goods out. So it's at this point, it's not released the warehouse. No, it's not released the warehouse. So somebody has got to physically go and really have a look at that credit. The next stage would we'll have a look at is the credit held screen. Um, so if you're in that user setup with a value, you can go and release orders up until that value. Up until that value. We go into credit held. So in here you have a list of any orders that are waiting to be be released. So you'll see there's a canon group of um have been got a few orders on here and it's going to show you the document type, so if you've got other documents, say quotes in there, they'll appear. So you can go and perhaps have a filter just on your quotes first of all. So you look at your quotes today, um, or periodically throughout the day. Um, it will give you the order number. You've got certain information on here, so you can go and have a look at the card. So dependent what, what order you're, you're on. So we put that one on the last one that's on there. I can get to the the order and have a look at what they've they've just put through. So I haven't got to come out of the screen and go into the sales orders. So for me, um, I would just want to quickly go in throughout the day, have a look at the orders, see what they've ordered, and decide whether I want to to release them or not. So I can see who's put the order on by the salesperson and what that's taken them over. So here they have got an actual, um, it's telling me what their potential limit's going to be based on all orders that are currently sitting on the system and what's overdue, overdue there. I can see the, st the statistics on the right hand side so I can go and have a look at the account as well. So anything in blue I can go and click on it takes me directly to the customer account and I can go and see what's made up of, of their account or any notes perhaps somebody's added on to the, the credit controller might have added on to the account. Yeah, because it might be a reason in the background for the current situation. Correct, yeah. So the credit controller could be, just going back quickly to the, um, the customer account, if I go in there, it could be that I could see there might be some invoices on hold so there might be reasons to why you know price queries or something so that that could um that could point out to me um, at that point so if i'm happy with it then i can actually go and release it and if i try to release something that's beyond my limit i can't so we saw originally I've got. I've only got permission to release up to two thousand, so it will stop me from 
releasing it if I don't have, have that permission. So we'd need the, um, the other user to go and authorise because I'm only allowed to do up to a certain limit because that order's for 4,000, so I'm not allowed to do it. So the manager would now come and review those documents? So the manager so would be in it's now. Yeah. So he would go to his machine. So if I logged on, so if I'm the manager logging on to his desktop, he'd have his the same sort of screen as, as well. Somebody who's got high limit, they'd go to the credit held screen and they'd see exactly the same what's currently waiting to be, be released. So then they'd be able to access everything the same as what the other user can. And you can see that's now disappeared from the queue. So this list is just showing you all the orders that are waiting to be released. What you'll notice now is the order has been released. But if I wanted, if a customer phoned back in and he says now I want to change that to two, I've got to go and reopen the order. So he's, he's increased the quantity, which is obviously going to take him still over his, his credit limit. I still haven't got enough stuff. It's telling me it's over its credit limit. When I release it again, it would hold it because that order's changed. Uh, the first time when I, when you put the order through, the value was four thousand, and I released that as a manager. I, I agreed that's fine, but then the customer's gone and upped the order. So when a change has been made because it's checking at that point in time when you release, he's increased it again. It's going to put him on hold to be reviewed. Even though you're actually putting not on a second user. Much higher credit limit. It's, it's, it's because he's over his credit limit. So he's gone over that limit, and it would it will always if you've gone over by a penny, it's always going to hold it regardless of the value that I can. That's the value I can release up to. It, that doesn't mean you're allowed to go over that credit limit value. That's okay. the, uh, the order value that it always get held. Yeah, always get held because the customer has gone over his limit. Unless on his customer card, I'd flagged him to be excluded from credit held, so it ignores the limit. So because I've I've increased his order, it's got to be reviewed again because it's still taking him over his limit. Even if I went in and changed the price to a. A different amount because it, the point of your releasing it, it's doing a check of the account at that point to make sure. Because you could have, you could have had a, a returned a load of goods to you, or you could have done a payment in between. So it's at, at the releasing point. It's when it's doing its checking. So it's forcing him to check. Yeah. It's already released. Yeah. The system's doing a check for you to say what is the account at this stage at the point of releasing. Because that's the point of your releasing the order is when you're going to probably send it to the um, send it to the warehouse to be picked, packed, and shipped out the door. Um, so it's doing that check at the releasing point. So they're they're over the credit limit, as we know, and that's going to appear back in in my credit held screen. That's back in the list again. Doesn't it show the reason? Yep, so it's showing me over here that he's got um, what's his current, what, what this order takes him over his credit limit, what will his balance be? So it's looking at um, it's looking at the value of what orders you've got in the system plus the balance on your account minus any return orders that you could potentially have and then it's telling you what's currently um, overdue as well okay and um, the amount that um, the value of 
into there. So I can just try and switch it there, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. So you as the order, oh, you the person putting on the order, you can see what the, the reason is. It's, it's credit held and then mm -hmm. over the credit limit. To release that now, you just go to the Yeah, release the order, and that's gone from the screen. And the sales order now is showing us as release. And you want to check what documents to be released by a certain person. If we go into the credit held list, we can go and see what orders have, have been released. So if I go into released documents, I can go and see that order 1005 has been released and you'll be able to see the user that released and the date and time that was released. Yeah. So you can unrelease it. So if you do review the list of released documents and disagree with the release decision or the situation has changed, you can put the document back onto hold. Here, sales order 1005 is back on the held list and the release documents list has no documents. So is there anything else that you would mention? Uh, no. Thank you. You're welcome.